this roommate of mine sophomore year, we absolutely hated him. He was, uh, in addition to being a complete nincompoop, rather a chubby lad. So one night we tied him in between two mattresses and threw him out the window. What? I'm writing that one down. Was he okay? Oh, he was fine. He went to sleep, he woke up in the morning, and picked up right where he left off. Man. We wound up throwing him out the window every night for a month, and then he transferred. Well, do you think you guys tossing him out the window on a regular basis might have had something to do with that decision? Well, it crossed our minds, yes. However, we were young and full of energy. Every day was an adventure. No challenge was too great. We wanted to change the world. This is so great. Richard, I want to thank you for inviting me to lunch. Well, you're very welcome, Paris. How often does a man like me get the chance to entertain two such lovely and intelligent young ladies? You are a honey-tongued devil, aren't you, Dick? So, tell me, what are your plans for the game? The what? The game, the Harvard-Yale game. I'm going. I already have my ticket. I bought it a month ago. You did? It's the game, Rory. It's a memory, a college memory, and I intend on having as many college memories as possible. Your grandmother and I have attended every one of these games for the past 32 years. We always buy a block of seats, and we got one for you. So, how about it? We'd love to take you. And I would love to go. Good. It'll be a wonderful day. It will be a day to remember. Richard? Asher! Oh, look at you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Your grandfather knows Asher Fleming? That's amazing. I read his latest book four times. He was on Charlie Rose last week, and he almost kept me awake. Well, I didn't know he knew him. I wonder if I can get an interview with him for the paper. What if I want an interview with him for the paper? What? Well, he's my grandfather. You're stealing my interview. No, I'm just making you crazy. Like, that's hard. Feel proud. Girls. I'd like to introduce you to a former classmate of mine, Asher Fleming. Asher, this is my granddaughter, Rory. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. And her friend, Paris Geller. Paris? I saw you on Charlie Rose. You were good. Thank you. Not too self-important. You made your point and managed to look remotely interested when Charlie babbled on pretentiously about nothing. Well, Charlie Rose is a good friend of mine. Whatever. Listen, Professor, I'd love to do a profile on you for the paper. Nothing puffy, straight up, hard-hitting, uncensored. Your views, no slant. Tomorrow work for you? Well, I'll, uh... I have to check my schedule. I do teach, you know. Sure, you gotta pay the bills. Richard, terrific to see you again. <laughs> Let's have lunch next week. Consider it a day. Splendid. Right. Goodbye, ladies. I'm a fan! I could have opened with that, couldn't I have? Then you wouldn't be you. Perfect. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Paris. Is Rory here? Oh, no, she's over there with her grandfather. She'll be right back. Do, Mom, do you know Paris? Of course I know Paris. She came to Rory's 16th birthday party. Nice to see you again. Would you like some lemonade? No, thank you. I won't be here long. Oh, Rory. Good. Here. What's this? I want you to take a win-lose photo. A what? A photo is if we won, and a photo is if we lost. That way I have it to remember the day by. Well, why don't you just wait until we win or lose to take the photo? Oh, please. I'm already so bored out of my mind, I'm thinking of transferring to Princeton just for the hell of it. There's no way I'm gonna make it to the game. Just take the picture so I can go home. Okay. We won. We lost. We're done. I'm out of here. Oh, hello, Paris. Uh, join us for some food? No, thanks, Richard. Oh, by the way, thanks again for introducing me to Asher Fleming. Oh, did you get your interview? No, not yet, but I'm working on it. Mm, well, I pity him if he tries to resist too long. Oh, so do I. Mm. Bye. Bye, Paris. Hello. So how was it? It's still going on. Really? How dirty. We're at the West Hills Market drinking booze out of paper cups. Really? How pathetic. He made sure I got my potato chips. Really? How confusing. <laughs> I'll explain later. How are the grandparents? Not speaking. Must have been one hell of a game. I read. I'm sorry I bailed. You owe me nothing but the gory details. I might like him. Just remember, you're sleeping with every single person he's ever slept with. <laughs> Thank you for that. Call me tomorrow. You got it. <laughs> 